your reigning source for all WWE hourly, whether it be morning, noon, night, whether it be under the sheets, whether it be waking up, whether it be in the shower, the mall, the hall, the movies, wherever it be, the work, wherever it may be, Sean's View Entertainment is going to set the news and rumors free. We're going to set it ablaze in this very episode. Remember to subscribe, click the bell, turn on all notifications to become a channel member today. Ladies and gentlemen, right at the top of the video, we got some crucial developing news on a massive star leaving or being written off of Monday Night Raw. Also, the first look inside the TNA Bound for Glory 2024 arena, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, we're going to get a first side look because we all know WWE and TNA are in a partnership. They, they are trading talent as we speak. And there is a look, ladies and gentlemen, at the arena. Here it is, guys. We're going to give a little look right here. There it is, guys, for all of you. There it is. TNA Impact, Bound for Glory. There it is, viewers, fans, and subscribers. Moments away from an excite from exiting the tunnel and achieving glory at TNA Bound for Glory. It promises to be an exciting, excelling event. Plenty of action. Lil Baby Son had a blast during WWE SmackDown on 1026. That's Lil Baby's son. Finn Balor and JD McDonough triumphed at the OTT 10th anniversary event. Yes, they crossed over again. Everyone telling me, Sean, there's no way WWE could ever partner up or have the forbidden door open. But WWE are partnering up with all these other wrestling promotions, whether it be TNA, uh, whether it be uh, an indie promotion, whether it be the OTT 10th anniversary event. So for anybody that's going to come here and tell me, oh, Sean, WWE will never partner up. WWE will never have some sort of thing with AEW. I'd say you're completely wrong. WWE champions make an appearance at NAX NASCAR Xfinity Series playoff race. Your thoughts, your comments, and your opinions. That's NXT champions, the current NXT champions. Also, ladies and gentlemen, Willow Nightingale sidelined after con a concussion at the CMLL Women's Grand Prix. Your thoughts, your comments, and your opinions on that. Hulk Hogan claims that he project rejected dinner invites from both Sheer and Madonna. Your thoughts, your comments, your opinions. Also, ex-WWE star Alicia Fox ties the knot with longtime partner as Alicia Fox headed back to the WWE. Your thoughts, your comments, and your opinions. And remember to become a channel member today. The book, Booker T, admits something that he's very nervous about. What would the book, Booker Man, be nervous about? Well, according to those in the know, Booker T himself has said the following. Remember to become a channel member today. Booker T admits that he is nervous to attempt the spin rooney again. Yes, he is nervous to attempt such a thing. The Hardy Boys tease final Full Metal Mayhem match at TNA Bound for Glory. The Hardys tease final Full Metal Mayhem match. What does that mean? What is this alluding to? What is the future of the Hardys? They always said they wanted to retire in the WWE. Are the Hardys headed back to World Wrestling Entertainment? You can only imagine what that would look like. For us to be doing, we're 33 years into this, to be doing a full Metal Mayhem TLC match against a really young team in ABC in the Dastardly system, Eddie Edwards and Brian Myers, both very talented guys. This is cool. We're just saying that if this happens to be our final, last Mayhem match, we are going to go out with a bang. The Hardys participated in this iconic match. Has fans wondering if this might be their final ride in such a physically demanding environment. Known for their trail-basing TLC matches, whether it be uh, ladder matches, TLC matches, table matches, the Hardys have been through it all. Braun Strowman sparks outrage after posting a photo with a dead buck. Now, some people are against this. Some people are for this. Some people do this in their hobbies for fun. But some are having some outlash about Braun Strowman posting this photo online. And uh, some are for it and some against it. And obviously, it's going to raise some eyebrows, especially when you're under the limelight like Braun Strowman. Also, ladies and gentlemen, we are receiving word. Montez Ford, frustrated with WWE obstacles, teases a major shift in his career. Is that a tease to leave to go another wrestling company, another promotion, an indie promotion? Where is Montez's head? Where is he going to go? The prominent, promising tag team has come up short in the last couple of years. What is he going to do? What is Montez Ford going to do? It looked like he was going to have a promising singles career, but it looks like that is not going to happen at this stage of the game, although he has had some standout moments in WWE, has Montez Ford. 
But uh, the first thing you would might want to do is drop out of the street profits and maybe go elsewhere. Your thoughts, your comments, and your opinions. TNA fans score big with front row and second row perks at Bound for Glory weekend. Your thoughts, your comments, and your opinions. Tony D'Angelo teases involvement of popular ECW faction at the NXT show, which will be held at the old ECW arena. Your thoughts, your comments, and your opinions on that. Ladies and gentlemen, you can only imagine what that's alluded to. Maxine Dupree, bikini photo with Valentina Rosie captures the attention of WWE stand, uh, stars and fans. You can check that out online. But here's a little sneak peek for you, viewers, fans, and subscribers. Because here on the show, I don't just talk about it. I, just, I don't just tell it, but we happen to show it. CM Punk receives warm birthday message from Roxanne Perez. Apparently, it was the best in the world, CM Punk's birthday. Your thoughts, your comments, and your opinions. Joe Hendry questions Frankie Kazarian's role as special guest referee at TNA Bound for Glory. You know, it seems like they're doing a little too many between WWE, TNA, AEW, a little too many special referee things. Special referee gimmicks, special referee bouts, special referee shenanigans. Um, it's getting a little bit old right now is what I'm saying. Jimmy Uso's first remarks after reuniting with Jay Uso during WWE SmackDown. Your thoughts, your comments, and your opinions. RVD explains WWE's ban on the term wrestler and how it affected promos. But now you're hearing belt, title, wrestler. A bunch of banned words are now back in the WWE. Your thoughts, your comments, and your opinions. Bully Ray critiques Kyle Fletcher's AEW head shave segment. Should have gone all the way, says Bully Ray. Reason behind Christian Cage and Jeff Jarrett being able to use TNA entrance themes in AEW is being revealed online. AEW files trademarks for WrestleMax in AEW Max Month amid major Warner Brothers Discovery deal. Now, see, again, this goes back to AEW trying to portray, trying to copy, trying to fake out the WWE with this whole Wrestle Max. Look at this. Don't tell me that's not a ripoff of WrestleMania, guys. Come on now. I mean, how much closer can you get to WrestleMania? Wrestle Max? Come on, guys. Speculation on AEW programming's future in the UK. The Rock sends a powerful message to Team Agar ahead of the 2024 Kana Ironman. WWE Crown Jewel 2024 full spoiler match card for November the 2. And we're going to get right into that right now on Sean's View. Because there was rumors and speculation. Now there was an image. There was a photo. Now we know nowadays, you know, we got generated images, we got edited images, we got AI images. A, a, a photo has been lurking online about a WWE wrestling ring catching fire, on fire, set ablaze, goes into a fireball. Now as of press time, I haven't heard of any injuries, I haven't heard of any casualties, I haven't heard of any deaths. But we have seen rings on fire before. We have seen Inferno matches in the WWE. We have seen rings caught on fire so this would not be the first time in wwe history but if this was an accident if this was part of the show if this was supposed to happen i don't know but ladies and gentlemen this image is surfacing online and we bring it up to you so far it seems like everything is good and well but uh again viewers fans subscribers we are your updated source for the most informative the most influential the most dynamic the most in-depth the most spectacular WWE news and rumors, you're going to get it right here on Sean's View Entertainment. Why? Because if it weren't for you, there quite frankly would be no Sean's View. We come through when the lights are absolutely on bright. Later. And make sure to share this video and share it often because, ladies and gentlemen, you are looking at the place, the time, and the guy to give you what you want to see, read, hear, and no. The fix is in Sean's View Entertainment. Later.